Former Prime Minister Scott Morrison has made it really clear today that he rejects the Indigenous voice to Parliament. Here's what he had to say about this divisive proposal. Once established, the voice cannot be removed by the Parliament, as proved necessary when the Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander Commission became dysfunctional and was rightly and successfully abolished by this Parliament. It is wrong to conflate the issues of the voice with constitutional recognition and treat them as inseparable. They are entirely separable. The Labor Party made it clear from the outset it was the voice or nothing, leaving no room for compromise. I chose not to divide the country over the issue, especially it would have no material impact on the welfare of Indigenous peoples, which was my principal concern and that of all Australians. These seem like some pretty powerful words here. Michael, what's your perspective? Well, I mean, he reflects exactly the position that I've taken on this. Look, I support constitutional recognition. I think there ought to be some form of recognition uh, just as a matter of historical fact. However, <laughs> what's being proposed with the voice is completely different. It's a clumsy, you know, um, I think potentially... F uh, Fail, yeah, you know, organised failure in in the sense that it won't achieve the aims that it's um, purported to be there to achieve. That is uh, to improve the lot of Indigenous people, particularly those in remote communities. Now, there's nothing in this voice proposal that actually shows you how this is going to be done. And I think uh, what we're confronting now is as people focus closer and closer on this voice issue, they're they're asking the obvious question: How is this going to make a difference? Uh, on the ground for Aboriginal communities. And um, I, I don't think there's a, an answer to that. And certainly the yes case hasn't put that answer or, or that case out into the public for any discussion. So I think they've got some real problems. Um, Scott Morrison's position, I think, is is, is uh, reflective of uh, uh, an increasing number of Australians. They want to see what it means in practice. Um, it is a clumsy structure. Uh, I think it's doomed to failure uh, under its cor current uh, configuration. And I think uh, it's good to see the Prime Minister putting his two cents in. I think uh, the former Prime Minister, I should say, um, uh, because we do need a genuine debate about the practical issues associated with the voice. Tina, Michael makes a good point, uh, as does uh, former Prime Minister Morrison in the speech that he just gave. And that is to say that the last time something like this was tested, the closest analogue we have was ATSIC. And yeah. by most measures of public policy, it was an enormous failure. There's been oh, no had... answer provided by the Yes campaign to say that this would be any better. So how's that going to play out? That's right. It was an enormous failure and it was able to be dismantled. This is really dangerous. Now, Mr Morrison was very passionate in his, in his words today and I think the one thing people need to remember is what Scott Morrison pointed out. This is not going to help one Indigenous person, as Michael said, in those remote areas, except for the Indigenous representatives on The Voice that will be paid. I mean, it's outrageous. And I hope for the country that The Voice is not successful. And I think uh, people are realising now um, to be very wary of it and, and will vote no in the referendum.